Hi everyone, um, rainy Sunday here. So um, I am, well, there's dog one. <laughs> dog two is over here in her bed. Uh, can you see her in there? Right there. <laughs> anyway, um, I am just going over floor plans. So I thought I'd give you an update. Um, it's kind of handy <laughs> having your dad as your as your designer and your stepmother. Um, so my dad draws everything by hand and my stepmother actually puts things in CADs. <laughs> my dad's a bit of a Luddite. Anyway, um, I was just going to sort of show you where I'm at. So here we go. I'll turn this around. Oh gosh, I always forget. It doesn't really let me turn it around once I'm filming. Okay, hang on. Cut. Okay. I'm back. Um, so I've just laid them on the floor here. Okay, so this is my dad's drawing. So um, this is kind of a combination of what's there and what he's proposing. So right now, this is my bedroom. And this is, you know, my bathroom where Tomas has kind of knocked all this stuff out. And it's below a level because the, the two levels are different. So this level is higher by about, probably about two and a half feet. And this level is lower. So um, he was proposing, you know, he didn't really propose anything in here other than updating this bathroom. So this is all the existing bathrooms. Um, although I think this line kind of goes like this and this window is over a bit. So technically, it's kind of more like this, and this is shoved over. Um, so, um, and then he proposed over here um, in this bedroom, uh, a, a bedroom here with a bathroom, an ensuite, and then this bedroom has an ensuite. And then this is that narrow stair that goes up to the uh, top floor. And then this is the existing stair going down to the lower floor. Um, and then this is the little dressing room that would be divided into two bathrooms. So one for this bedroom and one for that bedroom. So that was kind of the initial, um, his initial proposal. So then we talked a little more. Sheila, my stepmother got involved. So she came up with this plan. So again, here's my suite. And I had a lot of people comment that I deserved the, the bathtub with a, with a, uh, a window um, and that I should bust through right across so that I'd have this window and potentially this window. So she kind of had the same thinking and suggested I put a little studio in here with a little bathroom. Um, and then I would eventually take out these bathrooms and create a bedroom and a bathroom here. And then she's proposing a laundry over here and then uh, a bigger bathroom here. And the reason we're able to do that is because they're proposing that I take out this narrow little stairway that goes up to the third floor um, and extend this stairway so it goes up above the stair. Um, so that's an interesting idea that also sounds ex extremely expensive. Um, I don't know how I'm going to afford all of this. So this is really just playing right now. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if we can build this into <laughs> any kind of reasonable budget. Um, but anyway, this is, this is the dream plan. So that's what we're going with. Um, so anyway, so that allows us to put a full bathroom in here with a bedroom, sort of a longer, narrower bedroom, put a laundry on the second floor, which would be extremely useful rather than having to go down to the basement to do 12 bedrooms worth of laundry would be really, really nice. Um, it would actually be nice to have one on the, the top floor as well, I suppose. Okay, so now I said, oh, but, you know, I don't know about the studio here, and where's my bathtub with the window? <laughs> so we've got yet another revision. So this revision includes, again, my room, my suite, my suite, I like that idea. And then here's the bath, bathtub with a window. 
Um, we also talked about the fact that the house really should have some sort of fire escape, especially from the third floor, but also from the second. So um, this exterior wall is what makes the most sense um, in terms of placement. So um, I now have a big, huge studio area. So I lose a bedroom here, but maybe that's okay. I mean, you've still got five bedrooms here and, you know, however many upstairs. So... I go from 12 bedrooms to 11, I think I can survive it. Um, and I do need a studio if I'm gonna be doing art retreats. So, uh, quite like this idea. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the, the current dream plan at the moment. So it'd be really super fun. Okay, now the other thing I've been doing, because, you know, I've got chateau fever. Um, is buying books. So I just got this book. Um, it's Sarah Slim. I think it's reasonably new. Um, and I believe she has a uh, sort of a chateau slash farmhouse in um, the, the southwest. So not too far. I'm a little further north here. Um, but uh, it's a beautiful book. It's beautifully photographed. Um, and she, you know, she has kind of, um, color ideas. She's, it's filled with great resources for wallpaper, paint, um, that kind of thing. So I've been having kind of a lot of fun. I love these, um, sort of lime wash paints, which have kind of given me some ideas. Um, so lots of ideas in terms of, you know, places I can get things, which has kind of been a bigger, sort of the bigger struggle is like, how do I find, you know, the resources, um, especially ones in France where, you know, nearby where I, where I'm operating. Um, and then she also does these interesting kind of color wheels based on the region. Um, I'm not sure how useful they are practically, but um, yeah, they just give you sort of some ideas. Uh, it's kind of, I don't know, I, f I find these a little hard to work with in terms of like, okay, how, how would I use that in a house? You know, would I use this entire color wheel? Like, I don't know. Anyhow, but, um, but an interesting idea, a way of presenting kind of colors and so it's just been really pretty and then lots of useful kind of write-ups and uh, explanations and that kind of thing. So I just thought I'd show you that um, as I, as I, I'll show you a dog as I chat. Um, lots of useful information. Um, so anyway, uh, that's kind of what I've been playing at this week. Uh, I've kind of made there's another dog for you to look at. Uh, I've kind of made the decision that I'm going to go back to France in um, mid-February. So I'm kind of excited. I haven't bought my ticket yet. Um, but <clears throat> uh, I decided that it's likely that the earliest I'll get an interview for a visa is probably going to be April, May. So I figure that gives me time to get back there and, and uh, wrangle a few things. And then, um, yeah, uh, and then I can even just come back, maybe just for the interview, and maybe I'll go to do the interview in New York and visit my son at the same time, because that's where he's living. Anyhow, okay, well, uh, that's it from lovely, rainy Seattle. <laughs> Hope everybody's having a good Sunday. Take care.